All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, workaround to get um, remote play working on like say your Galaxy device, like I have an S7 Edge, um, without the need of an OTG cable because it does not work. And also, um, I don't have a second controller so I can't use that workaround either. Basically, this is what you have to do. So there's my main account, and then right there I have like a false account. So what I actually had to do, because no matter what you do, it's always gonna default to your main account if you um, do not initialize your PlayStation first. So what I did was I initialized my PlayStation and wiped it clean. Then what I did was I went to my phone and I used the PlayStation app to create a new user and that also allows you to work around having to verify by email it'll have you verify exactly like right in the app so you don't have to wait for an email so I made up a like a fake gmail account and then I created this one and then when I reset my PS4 and it was wiped completely clean and it was doing my initial setup what you have to do is you have to log in with this one first so log in with your fake one after that, log in with this one. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna default to this one being like the main, the main account. So, because if you've tried this before without initializing your PS4 and putting a false account on first, mm -hmm. when you open up Remote Play and you actually connect, what you're gonna see happen is, it's like, right now my PS4 controller light is blue saying it can't oh I can't log in right now because I haven't actually so I'm just gonna click this one my false account so that's all the way logged in right so now my remote play can actually work so I'm gonna hit next it's gonna connect and as you can see my controller just turned off now I have this on my screen right Let me turn this sideways all right now this is what's gonna happen press the PlayStation button on your controller it's gonna turn back on. See how it turned red? And now my phone and my PlayStation have defaulted to this screen. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your main account. And now, remote play will work. With the main controller. So, see that? That's my main account that you can see on the screen right there. It is working. If first you hit the, you log into your main account and it's not working, just hit the PlayStation button again and it'll start working. But basically what you want is you want that controller light to turn red. Um, so yeah, that's basically how it's done. Just make sure after you initialize your PS4 that you log into that false account first. And that's basically it. Hope it makes sense.